mid right yeah that generally means you've got players in there and the enemy kind of can't come in safely right mm -hmm. so what i'm how do you stop as as cts how do you stop people coming in because what i've always had trouble with like my personal experience here and, and this may be in a completely different world from other people is when it gets rushed in from boost and from uh, middle at the same time and you like you can't look into this at once. Well, I'll discuss this after the pistol rounds, but because I think we're live now, so discuss yeah. it on the the eco round that comes up. Yeah, that does make a decent bit of sense. We are of course going to see games two actually getting really caught, flashed there. A nice push comes out from Hellraiser, is forcing the hand of gamers two. They're going to run in here, but the first headshot has landed. Angel gets that one. Spiro going to try and make his way in. Does see the edge of Dozier's arm, but. Still going to be a two on three. Retake is on. Going to be very, very tricky here, I think. And there we go. Cleaned up very nicely indeed. Yep, that's going to be pretty easy peasy for Hellraisers. I expect to see a lot more of that as well. I did say before the other team to watch out for here on cash. But let's go back onto the question that you posed before. Or poised, I should say, uh, just a few moments ago. How do you deal with the T push on mid? Smokes, grenades. And you also need a very good mid player to either play passively behind the sandbags or maybe even towards a connector or to push up very aggressively. That's something that we see a lot of teams do. They'll throw out these flashbangs and smoke to mid, then push up. I'll be very interested to see how Hellraisers approach this one. This is an eco with upgraded pistols, so this should be an eco bashing effect from the CTs. Yeah, it always seems like it's a, a rare thing nowadays to see the uh, the pistols with no armor approach in the standard vanilla eco rounds. But for now, grenades are flying around in middle. Game is two moving up. Spiro gonna see Mouse, but not find the kill. Oh, no, wait, that's, that's Mao. Damn it, gets the kill anyway. In the end, Mao's gonna be uh, doing Hellraiser's No, uh, they're gonna be going now for the uh, aggression there, but. Uh, I just, I just I, God, I need them to change their names. It's just deep. It is confusing. confusing. It really is. Uh, another way as well that a lot of teams, well, let's say a lot, not a lot of teams, but I'm thinking of Team Property here. They did this at Gfinity. They play very defensive on CT sides. They effectively give up mid, but they have good smoke grenades and flashbangs, and they have very good retakes on sites as well. That's another way to play it, is effectively say to the team, okay, you take mid. We'll just play really deep. You have to plant the bomb at the end of the day as T's. All we have to do is defend. Angel's positioning there, dude. I've got a question now. That was really, really weird. Yeah, it seemed like he wanted to just push up all the way out, but you know, he had no idea if there was there. There's no flashes, and Dosia, however, will return. Himself a kill. Bit of a funky, uh, bit of a funky buy up here with the buys in there on Kuchu, right? They must have been expecting a buy from Gamers 2, so why take something with such poor armor pen? Uh, he had it from the last round, I believe, and obviously wow. didn't think that they would be buying up this round because they didn't get a plant on both uh, both previous rounds, but they forced up, and it's still okay. It's not fantastic against armor, though, so he should, he should fall down if they come into a 1v1 fight. Yeah, I mean, I for one at least would, would prefer to have a Tech 9 than a Bison. That's uh, yeah, I agree. the things we, we get to these days, of course. Dozier or does miss the first shot. Games 2 trying to get onto his side, but he's going to say no straight up. Two versus one now. Spiro was way out, way off on A, possibly trying to play the decoy, but seemed to be, uh, didn't seem to be easy to distract Hellraisers. Problem is, playing decoy is fine, but with 20 seconds to go, not so much. Because now... He was trying to maneuver his way into mid, go through the vents of 10 seconds. You have to play super aggressive, and at that point, you can't check every corner, and you get punished. So that was a forced buy up from Gamers 2. Um, and now, they're going to be back on to Eco. Very interestingly, Dozzy has gone for the uh, the MP9 here. It does make sense, though. They're going to know that the Eco is in effect, and MP9 is actually deceptively good against the Ecos because there's no armor, and it just rips through people. Very fast rate of fire. Yeah, money-making options as well he can really really profit if he can just get one or two kills with that plus it's fairly cheap so uh, 
like it's a major loss if he loses it, though you obviously do want to hold on to the game. Is two, though. They're going to go with the uh, play on to A, moving on to the side, but they're getting flashed. They're getting forced away. Kucha sprays fairly wide, but does get the kill in the end. Dosia will return in it, though. Gamers, too, they have come out on top in this situation. Mao now and Dosia are facing a really tough retake. Shapiro does get the plant in. This is going to be really, really tough now. Mal goes around the corner, does get in with the P250 up close. The damage does land, and Innocent has now spotted Dosia as well. So, 2 on 1, they know where he is. He has to play so cleverly here. But Innocent's backed off a long, long way. No kit on Dosia. Pick one up. The headshot lands, though. That's going to be it. Uh, just very poor defense on A there from Hellraiser. has got to call them out for that one. Gamers 2 pretty much just waltzed in there for free. And they, they get the rewards for that high progression. And kind of unfortunate from Hellraiser's perspective. Because after that last map, the one thing they didn't want to do was lose to an eco. That's going to drop their confidence back again. Which they've been so desperately trying to build back up once again here. Yeah, if they get into a situation where they do, you know... It's this thing where if you lose to an enemy buy around, you're just like, well, you know, fair play. It was close. You know, one kill what could have made the difference. We'll just save. You know, we need the money. We'll wait. But yeah, if you lose to the eco, it feels like we shouldn't have lost that. Somehow we did. Who, it whose stings. fault was that? Yeah, it really stings. Because it's, it's not just a case of, oh, we lost. It's how we lost. That really does sting. And it plays in the back of their minds. Like, for example, Cloud9. I'm just... Walking over this for a second, and I don't think too much action is going to ensue over there on B. And A slow as well. This is a very slow round from Gamers 2. This is what T's do quite a lot. But Cloud9 lost a huge round and ended up losing a best of three for the third, fourth place matchup against VP. As soon as they came out of the booths, they were saying that one eco round. They were talking about it over and over again. How the hell did we lose that? It really plays on people's minds. Uh, well, that's the way Cookie crumbles. Hellraiser's is pushed up quite aggressively on A right now, but it's actually B that looks like it's going to be the focus here for Gamers 2. They haven't left themselves much time, but in come the nades. Rollin looking away gets taken down by Mao, who was not flashed at all on the site. So they're circling around now, trying to get onto the site. There are a few flashes, but Dosia is strong, has been taken out now. They're going to move further on, but Mao, too difficult to take him out. Mao's, though, returning fire, and it's just going back and forth, and he's, though, the last man standing. He's going to be in a very close-up duel. He does want to die before the end of the round, but now he has to hold on to that orb, if at all possible. Does not have much health, though, and will get taken down. Yeah, not, not really too much to say about that one. Hellraiser just had strength and numbers at the end, and they, uh, they did push it through and pick it up. Um, L... Etchia? Etlitia? Sorry if I'm pronouncing the name wrong there, dude. Who's the best tonight? I assume you're talking about teams. Fnatic are right now. I think a lot of people would say that Fnatic are the best team still. Even though the last couple of days have been a tiny bit rocky. But we're here to watch Hellraisers and Gamers 2. The best team of these two so far has been Gamers 2 overall. But maybe Hellraisers have a point to prove here on Cash. Yeah, certainly looking closer than the last game, no matter what else happens. They're going to be gunning down the push in from Gamers 2 here. No kills found. And the flashes just didn't seem to stop the spray from Angel there. Yeah, they, they tried something new. You know, fair play to Gamers 2. They wanted to try and catch them off guard. And the, the only round they have, one on cash so far as well, but has been on B. So they've, they've clearly seen that that kind of... Uh, sorry, it wasn't on B, it was on A. But they're clearly thinking that, that B is fairly weak. You know, from these last few rounds, they've got a couple picks here and there. The problem is, though, you run in, it's like Lambs to the Slaughter. AK can just hold that button down and spray through everybody, and that's pretty much what we saw. However, it's another buy-up round from Gamers 2, and so far, Hellraisers have looked pretty solid. Yeah, that's a pretty fair statement to make. They've had this... Uh gridlock hold on the game so far and the knees going down certainly isn't going to help gamers twos gamer gamers twos it's that's actually grammatically correct attempt to uh, get the uh, ground for themselves you're definitely watching boost spot but I'm, isn't he a little exposed there he is a tad but he's getting away with it so far and uh, trying to 
keep them off guard. And again, look at Gamers 2, they're playing this one really slow. Now they're going to start to force it in with 40 seconds to go. Yes, they are going on to the site now. They have not found the kill on Rowland, though. Gonna be kills going back and forth as the spray comes in, but Hellraiser is definitely getting the better of this one. Maus has been taken out. The last man for Gamers 2. But yeah, th so there is one thing here, though, that I think may be an issue for Hellraiser, because what we didn't see much from them last round, I'd have said, was many set strats. Do you think that's gonna hurt them here on cash for the second half? Well, the problem with, with set strats on cash are that cash for me is a fairly static map across the board. It's nowhere near as volatile as Mirage is. And, and also, on top of that as well, I'm just going to talk through this because basically the eco round you're expecting now to just go huge with that open mid, as he is right now. But on Mirage, you can kind of outthink the team a lot. You can outplay them. You can do mind games. You can throw in decoys here and everywhere. It's still possible on cash, but I just feel cash is a lot more of a static map overall. And I think that played into Hellraiser's hands. You can get these stacks, as we've seen Gamers 2 doing over and over again on A, where you play very slow, you stack it, and then you force through. I do know that Hellraiser's play this map a hell of a lot, though, so I would expect to see some more set strats when it comes to the T side. Yeah, they certainly uh, have... Gamers 2 certainly have, like, a couple of set... Um... I don't know if it's necessarily called a strat if it's just like smoke spots that they all throw at the same time, but I, I guess that's a strat in a way, uh, even if the strategy itself is push on to A now. Um, but uh, certainly, yeah, that was how they won that eco round, in fact, which is weirdly enough their only round so far. So, uh, envious is that you? <laughs> that's, uh, well, apparently, envious lost tonight against Titan on Cash. That's what I just heard there in chat before. I think Envious had about 75% win odds yeah. as well on CSGO Live. So a bit of an upset there. But here we go. Game is 2 looking for A once again. Never bet too hard against Kenny S. Yes. Never bet too hard against Kucha. If he is holding, he's as well. Hellraiser's there. Pretty much just cut that down in a half second. So uh, <laughs> Minis is now left playing... Uh, playing... Let's just wait and see if anyone will very kindly present themselves for me. Yeah, he's out here. He's very likely to get killed. And Adrian, doing what I would view as the sensible thing here and thinking, I don't like that door. Right, so what I'd like to see more from Gamers 2 here, what I, what I think is going to win them some more rounds is mid. They haven't really fully utilized mid to the fullest extent for me. They've played a lot of slow rounds. They've played a lot of fast rounds on A. They've tried their hand at B. The one area I haven't really seen them fully exploit right now is mid. Maybe that's because Mao's opping has been pretty on point there, and he does typically get a lot of kills, but if you start to smoke, you start to flash, and you also run with your own AWP, you can do some damage. If Gamers 2 can take over mid, if they can start to push through those aforementioned areas that I mentioned, you know, at the beginning of this game spell when we are talking about cash overall, I think they could win some more rounds here. They have very good aim compared to Hellraiser, I'd say. They have better aim across the board, but they need to use that. Yeah, they're certainly going to need to do well out of this one, or they're really going to struggle in the second half. Kucha going down is a good start for them as they push on the side. Adrian will return fire there. Mao's taken out. This is actually still favoring gamers too, though. They found themselves another kill there. Mao is going to be the key here. I feel that he has been dropped. We could really have too much impact like he's done in several previous rounds. Now, Dosia. A little bit quieter on this map than the previous. The Hellraisers can get anything done. It's certainly going to be a tricky one here. There's only one angle for Innocent to peek, and having done it, gonna find himself turning to the death chamber. So three people left on the board, but uh, the round is very much concluded. Yep, definitely. They've managed to save an orb for themselves here. Hellraisers have so much money to play. Look at that. Three of them have over 10k, and the other two are pretty close to that amount themselves. So more than enough money to buy up for at least another two rounds. And maybe that's another tactic that Games 2 can try and run with again. I will say, though, that worked more because of the failures of Hellraisers than their own successes. They just caught players off guard with grenades in hands, and then they got the entries, and then A was just rife with T players there. So 
I don't think they'll get away with that again, Spud. And this is where I'd like to see them. Now that they have start to have some weapons, maybe some bank, get an AWP, try and push mid, try and make some plays. And Kutcher should not be getting those frags on Manise. I'm sorry, but he really shouldn't. Yeah, that took a long time as well. It wasn't like it was run around instadink. It was just praying, uh, praying a little bit widely. But uh, literally everyone has those moments sooner or later where you're both sort of empty your clip to get nothing. And uh, happens a lot less frequently. Now there is an angel in particular pushed up in mid and... I, I can't. I don't think that was necessarily a bad play from Angel to be pushed up that far and covering no. that angle, but he just got wrecked. I was just about to say, no, I like that play from him. I, I was about to say, it's strange to me that the CTs are being more aggressive in mid than the Ts are. You know, he's getting way more real estate than the Ts have been getting. And that's very much been indicative of how this game's gone so far, and for me, why it's 8-2. Gamers 2 need to be more aggressive in mid. Well, Innocent's going to start them off on that, on that front. Not that first kill. There's only 28 seconds left on the clock, though, and this is going to get really, really hairy, really, really fast if they can't find themselves an angle. They're going to make for the push very soon. Mao is there. They found the first kill there. Moving on to the side, the Mao is going to shut that down oh very, God. very nicely indeed. Just like he knew where he was coming from. Where was this Mao on Mirage? Is the question that is coming up in my mind over and over again. It just goes to show that with confidence comes skill in Counter-Strike. And Mao is a pretty huge example of that right now. So they're back on Eco again, Gamers 2. And it looks like they're going to be forcing through B. Yep, they're going to go for it. There's a couple with armor here. They've got a couple of flashbangs. If they could just get those first headshots, that could really work in their favor. And in fact has done so. Two members of Hellraiser's taken out. No... Damage dealt in return, really. That means guns. That means cover of upper as Adrian has been dropped, meaning now it's a two on five. And Hellraisers look like they're in real, real trouble. Kucha gonna get blindsided from Vents. Now the last man standing. Can he pull anything out of his hat here? Doesn't look like it's to be. He will back away. Need to be a little bit careful not to get hunted down. Although, to be fair, if I was game is two here. I'd almost be tempted to just make sure I was saving as many guns as possible. Yeah, definitely true. They can't really afford to throw away weapons looking. Uh, they're going to get... Uh, oh, I was just looking in the wrong place at the wrong time. Looking through the garage and unfortunately got punished. I, I would like to highlight as well Rylan. I'm not sure if you caught him on the stream there, but he had perfect crosshair placement. And this is one thing that pros talk about a lot, that crosshair placement is so, so important in Counter-Strike because it almost gives you a, a natural advantage when someone's peeks around the corner. If your crosshair's in the right place, you instantly get that shot because you allow for your reaction time, you allow for things like flashbangs. Rylan did it. He's on 3 for 12 right now. 4 for 11, I should say. It's Manise, it's uh, 3 for 12. He's not playing great, but Things like that really can turn the tides. Oh, Adrian. Hello, Spiro. Are you ready? Yes, you oh, are. Dear. Good job there by Spiro. Setting up the first kill. That means now... Game is two. They've got the numbers advantage. Rather than... Four. Not been doing so well. Eight for eleven, but... Looking around towards B site. I'm, I'm honestly not sure what strategic purpose that serves. And Dozier returning fire here. That... Could start Gamers 2 now back into a path that, uh, towards destruction. Gamers 2 is so slow here on T side. They are so, so slow. The only time that we're seeing aggressive plays is when they're on an eco or a tech 9 rush. That's it. And it's very, very predictable from Hellraisers. They know if Gamers 2 have weapons, we can just sit on sites and wait. And we know that Gamers 2 will only start to push for 30, 40 seconds, which is what they're doing here on B. The huge surprise for me, however, is that with Hellraisers with four players, They've only got one that's even remotely close to B, and they're going to pay for it in this round, I've got a feel. And what's funny about it is they weren't, he wasn't even there for very long. He only just rotated in, and there was no commitment from Gamers 2 onto A, really. They just sort of showed their faces a little bit. Now, uh, Miles is in a very, very awkward spot here. Going to be finding Dozier's gun that pointed straight at him in the vent. Rather than looking to defend really bad spray onto Kucha, fails to get any kill. So now it's up to Spiro to carry the team to victory in the one-on-one. -on -one. Looking for that shot with the Tech-9. Playing ring around the rose. He's like a champion and he will get the kill in the end. Will he die? Oh, he won't. 14 HP is all you need. Spiro just saved Rollins' ass big style there. Big, big style. Because you said it. 
Rollins spray. That was poor. That was the spray of a man with no confidence in his own ability right now. He should have had that frag comfortably. He had the drop and everything. Great position from him and just let it slip through the fingers. But Gamers 2 have got themselves four rounds. If they can get five or six, you know, that's not a bad cash T half. Yeah, they've actually recovered a lot. And this eco here with Dosia's AWP being the only thing available, that's going to be tricky to win from. But... Uh... Well, you never know. The CZ is pretty much custom designed for turning around eco rounds. Uh, literally, the gun of kill one guy and take his hit, take his gun because goddamn it, you're going to run out of bullets any second. Uh, but right now, kills are actually coming in, and one for one, not a bad start. Start. Yeah, for CTs who are on eco, they do have themselves an op. Um, so it's not a terrible trade for them. Maus should be getting this frag on coach. Uh, there we go. And that's going to open up a nice, the only one player. Here comes the rotations from Ardrin and also Mal. Yeah, in they come for the first kill. Nice D there from Mal, though, will return fire, leaving us now actually in a two on two. So, Dosia's AWP and Mal's Deagle now M4 as well. They're all favoured against them, definitely, because the B site has, has been taken here, but. Can they get the first kill? That's really the thing, isn't it? Isolate the 1v1. That's what they always say. Unfortunately, it hasn't worked for them. Well, if there's a man you want in this position, it's Mao in 1v2. Oh, oh, that, that grenade. That was a perla. Did that just hit 96 off him? I think yeah. he was 100 and it went down to 4. Jesus. I mean, it literally just hit him in the face. He took the collision damage from being hit by the grenade. Oh my oh, yeah. god, that... You, you pretty much can't do any more damage than that with a single grenade. That was pixel perfect grenade, and out of nowhere as well. He was not expecting that. Oh man, that, that's uh, that's a real, real problem to deal with there. But nine, as you said, ten is potentially uh, out of reach here for Hellraiser. So they've not been looking nearly as good over the last few rounds. We're starting to see bricks tumbling. Angel going to be looking out of this. Uh, into the yard. Not find the kill. Biro got a little bit off guard by Mao's presence in mid at all, it seems. He wasn't seem to be ready for that at all. Wait. Oh, okay, no, Dozier finished that kill. I thought for a second they just managed to kill each other simultaneously. I wasn't sure that was <laughs> possible. No. Well, unless it's grenades are involved, but not, not a straight up gunfire. It's very, very rare that happens. And oh my goodness, Biro somehow gets the upper hand onto Adren and. Uh, Hellraisers, man. They are such a frustrating thing to watch. It's falling apart for them as we watch. Now, it's still not over. This round could definitely go their way. And Dosia, he's been doing well. He's going to actually get seen before he can react, though. <sighs> Why was he exposed like that, Meadows? There's no answer for that. There's, there's no logical answer that I can give you, Spud. He just went walkies, and that's what Hellraiser has been doing these last few rounds. You know, I called it over and over again. It's a 1v3, though, so I'll carry on this point at halftime. Oh, oh, there, there we go. go. <laughs> oh, okay, fair yeah. enough. Carry on your point, Metas. <laughs> right, so basically, the first quarter of this match, the first half of that half, was Hellraiser's playing deep. It was Gamers 2 playing slow. So it's Hellraiser's getting the upper hand because Gamers 2 were leaving themselves with 30 or sub-30 seconds to plant the bomb, and then they were getting punished for that. The second half, or the second quarter of this game, Hellraiser started to go walkies. They started to push through mid. Angel, for example, is one that comes out to mind. Wasn't necessarily a terrible play, but he died. We've seen over and over again players pushing into main and dying. We saw some really strange pushes from Hellraiser out of B, which I was scratching my head at, and dying and giving easy frags to gamers too. This could easily have been 12-3 kind of scoreline if Hellraiser's just buckled down there. They got ants, antsy, and, and for some reason it's now 9-6. Now they're going to have to make the pistol round work in their favour if they want to come out on top. This is not the best start for them though because Mouse is right behind. They haven't noticed he's found two headshots. Meaning it's now Mao against the world and he is not going to win that battle. And you know what? I, a lot of people when it was at what? 9-1 at some point? Would have been thinking, yep. okay, I'm getting my skins back. Right now, oh yeah, 
Mm, not looking like it. A hundred percent, yes. All day, every day, they would have been thinking this is this is done right now, and that's what six rounds in a row, I believe, for gamers two now, and yeah. the pistol round. So this should be at least another one or two rounds. And this Hellraiser is actually committing to this round. They've got tech nines, they've got upgraded pistols, and they've got armor. If they lose this, this is a downward spiral. Yeah, Adrian is. I want to find the fun. Can miles elsewhere that finds not so much Juan as three or four, possibly six or seven. I can't remember how many bullets he fired. I am not that kind of person. Anyway, Mao is going to be the man to go down first. Nice spray from Rallan, cutting them all down. Dosia is in on site. Will find himself the first and the second kills. Tech 9 is so fair and balanced, but it doesn't matter here. He's not going to win this. He's not even going to get the plant. And uh, there we go. 9-8. And you can't even say it was a worth round for them. They committed to the round. They didn't get a bomb plant. They didn't get more than two frags. Game is two. Come out ahead. Well and truly that. Maniz is going for the CZ. He could potentially have been dropped something, but he's more than likely telling his teammates, nope, I want to save up for the AWP. I want to pick myself up an AWP next round, take it mid. Maybe he's got a good spawn try. And look at that grenade damage as well, up mid. Kutcher and Mal get completely wrecked off that. And Maniz doing something that we didn't see Gamers 2 do in the previous half, and that's pushing mid aggressively. Yeah, indeed. Weird that it's the CTs only, it seems, today. Rallan, though, he's going to murder the whole team. That was left standing anyway. The rest of them hadn't survived, and Maniz is suffering from extreme doubt as to whether he wants a CZ or a Tech 9. I mean, personally, if I was building towards an AWP, I'd rather have the Tech 9, though. Agreed. Yeah, agreed. The thing is, though, a CZ is better in very close confrontations because of the, the uh, amount of fire, uh, rate of fire that you get, and it actually does more bang for its buck per bullet. So I can understand in those sense. And of course, it comes down to personal preference as well, but maybe he's just more confident aiming at the CZ over Tech 9. Yeah, it's, it is true. It's just... It's just the fact that the switch animation got changed, so, it, you know, it takes longer to pull out a CZ. Yeah. But, uh, feels comfortable with it. Who the hell am I to judge? Kucha gonna come around the corner. Trade 50 HP. And snag another 10 into the bargain with a grenade. This is a huge round as well, by the way, Spud. This is a full buy-up from Hellraisers. If they lose this round, they'll be on tilt. Mark my words, they will be on tilt. That is uh, <laughs> not words you want to hear if you bet on Hellraisers. They're going to find the first kill, though. Angel peeking out. Nice flash to set him up. Roland in the same place he was last time, though, is going to find the first kill. Hellraisers look like they're in serious trouble here. Mao needs to win this duel. He does do so. Two, now three on two. But there have been trades back and forth going every which way. And Spiro now moving up towards the rest of his team on a Miniz. He doesn't know where to look. He's going to see the first man. Doesn't get taken down, but he actually finds that shot. And Spiro cleaning it all up there. So gamers two now. Ten rounds. Oh, man. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Why are Hellraisers going on A when they know the last two players are on A with the bomb? They could have just gone B and had a free plant and then more than likely won the round. My brain Hello, right? does not compute with that logic at all. And you might say, well, they didn't know both players were there. Yes, but they knew at least one was there. And the chances are the second player is more than likely going to be mid or mid connector. And you can just go through B and get the plant. They had 30 seconds to go and they've been moving towards A for the last 10 seconds. That's 40 seconds. That's more than enough time to get on B and plant the bomb. I honestly, Spud, I cannot give you a reason for Hellraiser's doing that other than them just being on tilt and just not thinking clearly. Yeah. I mean, it just... I just don't understand from Hellraiser's. It just doesn't make much sense to my mind, but... Who knows? Who knows? Looks like it's going to be the Tech 9 play here when we actually uh, get ready to go. We are, in fact, doing so, but if we had a... Very quick issue there from Gamers 2, I'd assume, since they were the ones with the unpause coming in. 
really, really tricky for this to come out well. Adrian is going to move in with the rest. The flashes have landed onto Venice. He's not gone down immediately. Does find his shot. Does also get dropped, though. Gives over the orb. Will they get the plant here? Fire is making it a touch tricky at the moment. It's a great fire. Great molly. Keeps them at bay. Allows the rest of the team to push in. It may not matter, though, because Kutcher with that tech nine gets the headshot. That accuracy at range while moving. Anyway, Mal, though, oh going to get taken. Oh, my God. Dude. Rallon comes in. What the... I nearly said something really bad. I'm just going to stop myself. Carry on, Spud. What the uh, public health and safety message is that? He plants the bomb. He's got two players around him, but both of them are itching their anus. What someone, is going on? Someone sneaks in. Yeah, it's weird. No one covering him. Nobody. What? Mental. I'm just going to stop talking. Yo. Let's go it... take some meds or something. Be right back. All right, no worries. I'll, I'll see you when you're in a drunken stupor later. In bed. I mean, we're going to be going onwards with this game now. Hellraisers are going to get themselves first. Girl Spiro pushing out. Doesn't find much. Does take quite a lot out of the legs of his opponent, but uh, leaves them with the sneaking impression that that is... Yeah. Angry Moth at the other end of the gun. Hellraisers have actually got the advantage of two kills. Yeah, but dude, after what we've just witnessed, does it matter? <laughs> does it matter? Nope. Though? Because nope. kills, 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 kills. Ripping pieces, Hellraisers. You are losing this game unless something drastic changes. Yeah, I can't deny that. That it's just bizarre there, but well, they've got uh, they've got time to work with at least fifty seconds. They've still got more rounds to work with. In fact, Kucha though coming around the corner doesn't seem to doesn't even really seem to phase him. Blinks and he's going down. Dosia still desperately trying to make something happen here for the team, but Miniz is very much back on form after an. Actually, pretty awful first half. He's come back really strong. He has. Yeah, so did Rollin as well. They were both around the 3 for 10, 3 for 11 mark, I think. Mm -hmm. And now they're both really pulling their weight again. So it's good to see. And the reason I'm getting so animated and so kind of frustrated is because I know what Hellraisers are capable of, Spud. I know these guys are very good players, but my god, they're not showing it right now. They are playing horrifically bad. And this is a map that you'd expect them to win on. And, they, and it looked like they were going to win. I mean, 9-1, or was it 8-1? Like, whatever, but a, a nearly, nearly stomp-worthy round score suddenly starts to slide away, and it picks up speed more than a frigging train. And right now, they're going to go forward. Spiro finds Kucha. And yeah, they just don't seem to have any way of getting onto a site without getting massacred. I said before as well, these guys should not go on tilt. They've got so many veteran players. They've got so many people that have been around the block multiple times. But it does seem to me just, that they are on tilt. Did you just die in fire? Oh, apparently Angel apparently crashed. crashed. Yeah. Ah. So that's going to leave a mark. Yep. Burning to death. But, There's nothing you can do. Oh, the experience of watching. Decides to turn around and look at the wall on Toxic and gets orped. That pretty much sums it up in a nutshell. Yeah. That's, uh... Yeah. Oh, well. We'll see if Gamers 2 can, uh... Match the, uh... The tilt here, but... Pretty hard. Got your worthy of the Titanic right now going on. In fact, the Titanic is a pretty good metaphor for Hellraisers in a number of ways, as they are going to... Continue to steadfastly believe in that it can work. It will always work if we just push out onto A strategy. The ship is unsinkable, Metas. I don't think Hellraisers are going to adapt. Well, it just seems that Gamers 2 are a massive iceberg right now. Uh, that's the only thing I can think of because they're pushing. They're pushing like Roland right now. Roland Moniz, they just said, who cares? Let's just push A, because why not? One goes through Squeaky with a CZ, gets the upper hand and assault rifle. Other goes through Main, crushes it. And now they're pushing towards Garage. This this is pretty much what's summing up the game for me. That gamers too realise they are in such better form than Hellraisers. That, let, let's be real, they're taking the piss right now. And, and why shouldn't they? 
If you're stomping all over him, you may as well keep going. Uh, the Hellraisers can do anything. They, their, their, their few signs of life have come in situations like this. Not generally when they go like that, though. Or like that. But, uh, yeah. It's just... Awkward. It's just really awkward to watch this, uh, to be honest. You know, as well, there's, there's two other points to make here. One is that Gamers 2 aren't doing anything phenomenally good. They're not doing anything that is, you know, groundbreaking or insanely difficult to counteract. And another thing I'd like to mention as well is you actually posed this question to me earlier and said, what about set pieces? They have none on Mirage. And I said, well, don't worry, they will on cash. Have you seen a single set piece this off? I haven't. Not that I've noticed. An well, let's talk about Gamers 2, in which case, yes, we have. Yeah. But T's have been doing nothing. Yeah, I mean, Innocent there. Very nicely coordinated little pop flash for him. He runs in, gets the kill. Did actually get caught on the way out. But, yeah, it, it the impetus is all gamers too. And look where they're pushed up to as well. It, I mean, they're practically pushing into spawn at this point. The A attack is going to come in. And they don't even check where Arlen is. He finds those kills. Spiro caps it off with a cap of Dosia taken off with a 5-7 from a mile away. The thing is, guys, saying that we obviously have a bet on HR or being too harsh, I'm honestly not. I just love Counter-Strike. I love watching Counter-Strike, and I get frustrated when a team is performing this badly that I know is capable of so much more. They're not giving themselves a fair representation right now, and Gamers 2 have walked away. In fact, hold on a second. That is... That's 14 rounds in a row right now for Gamers 2. They were 9-1 behind. Yeah. It, that, it's just an insane, ridiculous, ridiculous amount of damage. And and I should probably say, by the way, guys, to the, the couple in chat who has been saying, you know, we're biased and we, we have um, we have bets on this game. We, we don't. We don't bet on games that we cast at all. But, uh, yeah, Hellraisers are actually in a two-on-two -two here. So this is, this is, this should be a realistically winnable situation. It's not necessarily a good one. And it will turn very bad now as Rahlan just around the corner dosia one hp to make the magic happen it's uh be really really tricky though spiro is there though and hey there's life in the old dog yet well that's the the first round in a lot that we're seeing hellraisers bounce back and maybe this is the wake up call maybe this is the rallying call for hellraisers where they can pull something off there's going to be against the whole lot of weapons as expected with gamers who winning so many on the bounce they are easily going to pick up two more ops and three m4s there's only a tech nine as well on hellraisers the rest of them do have good weaponry but can they manage to get through a site right now are we going to see set pieces something's been lacking sorely so far no we're not okay then well fat lady warbling as we've mentioned Gamers 2, they're looking very, very good. I mean, we, we should probably not discredit Gamers 2 here. They've done very, very well here. But just Hellraisers are really, really falling apart at the same time. They're going to try to uh, catch the pick on mid. Mao does do so. Flash of what we saw in the first half of this game. Going through again. You can see the difference just in the KDAs. Like one half versus the other. Hellraisers had such a good first half. Okay, this is looking a bit more promising. Okay, they've got the kill and connector. They've got control of mid. Something that I highlighted before as being really important. But we still have some Mirage, and they need to make the most of these advantages, but this is the reason they lost Mirage so heavily. Yeah, and if they can get in on B and kill Spiro, then this could be really good for them. They've lost a man in the process, so it's still a 2 on 2, but they've got the control. They ended up having to double smoke there, because that was not the best first one. Uh, and I'm actually not really sure about that there from Rahlan. And I'm also lagging out. Yeah, me too. Uh, and he's played it slow. How is he still alive? What? <laughs> you well, want me? I mean, he he's going to save. Like, no way. No way he does anything in this scenario now. But, like, that was kind of funny. I, I guess he just got beyond the angle where he could be hit. Like a scene from a movie, he's crawling away from the bullets oh, yeah. flying over his head. Only saw it from his, his perspective, back. and I feel like he should have died. That's my gut reaction. But, hey, look. Hellraisers have got two rounds in the bounce, okay? Yeah. That was a good round. That was well played by them. People saying that I'm hating on Hellraisers, I'm not. I'm just impartial. I want to see good Counter-Strike. That was good. They need to keep this going, and they desperately need to get this round. 
any mistakes, they lose the game. They've already lost the first map. They need every crown from here. Yeah, they, they, they burned through, like, the world's largest amount of, like, three rounds that they could afford to lose here. 14 or 15 on the trout or something like that. Regardless, though, they're going to still try for this. They can still try to keep this going. For now, though, the train is coming in from Gamers 2, and they found two kills immediately, and the bomb was left lying, meaning it's now going to require an insane clutch get round here. I mean, Adrian is going to come around the corner. He should find the first <laughs> kill. He didn't, though, but we're not giving up hope. But we're not giving up. Oh, we're giving up. I give up. Oh, Rip. boy. Well... Rip they lost it on a, a random kind of mixed by eco situation. I think that pretty much sums it up. Hellraisers, for me, didn't really show up today. I mean, all credit to gamers too. They played really well, especially on Mirage Spud. Their Mirage was was really polished. Clinical textbook performance on how to play Mirage, both sides.